Alright, let's just cut to the chase. Number 19. We have Goku mastering Ultra Instinct versus Jiren. Nothing much to talk about here, it was just a cool fight. I loved it. Number 18. Goku goes SSJ for the first time. A cool rage moment against Frieza because Frieza took advantage of Goku's kindness so Goku just goes complete rage mode and turns into Super Saiyan and kills him off right there. Number 17. All of Johan Lieber's manipulative moments, all of them show how much of a beast or a monster he really is when it comes to controlling and manipulating other people. It's just astonishing how he does that. Number 16. Itachi's death. This was one of the most important and significant moments of Naruto and shows us all the true nature of Itachi, his true brotherhood which makes him one of the best characters in the show. Number 15, all of Eren Yeager's manipulative moments. Again, this just shows us how much of a beast Eren Yeager really is. Especially that one moment in season 4, part 2, we're all like, it's Eren all along. Truly love those moments. Number 14, William James Moriarty and Sherlock Holmes jumping off a bridge. Truly a wholesome moment in which we get to see Sherlock embracing William and talking to him about how both of them need to live accept the consequences of what they've done instead of escaping from life and come on this this scene just shows the true spirit of brotherhood and it's number 13 a pretty recent one in which Thorfinn says I have no enemies these four words have truly changed the thinking of thousands of people who watch this and read this as well it shows how much of a noble soul Thorfinn really is just like his father Thor and it's absolutely beautiful. Number 12, we have Oreki Hotoru getting manipulated by Irisu. It shows us a side of Oreki that we have never really expected to see. And because of it, we understand Oreki's motto. If I don't have to do it, then I won't do it. If I have to do it, then I'll make it quick. It's subtle and pretty human-like, pretty realistic, and I like it. Number 11, Tanaka's come back from Haikyuu. As you can see, Tanaka's performance against Narizaki doesn't really go well. For the first time, we get to see the emotional side of this unbreakable the story of how he just averages the stuff and beautiful. Because we all can relate to it. And then he comes back up, jumps into the air, it's a beautiful cross fight, showing that he truly is unbreakable. Number 10, Light Yourself. One of the most important moments in this movie. Light's intelligence. Guess what? Red dice. That's the true bird. The symbol mode. Number nine. Mir figures out that light is pure. Really shows Mir's detective skills as well as his planning and strategic abilities, which then leads to light's death eventually. So yeah. Number eight. Team Saiyan's victory against Team Murakazan. Because let's be honest, Takashi Seijo was going crazy with his winning streak. I like how Siren defeated him together using true teamwork accordingly. Number 7, Uesugi Futaro meets Itsuki for the first time. Nothing much to see here, but I love how Uesugi is just an absolute savage over here by flexing his chest paper with 100 marks on it, as well as patching Itsuki. Of course, his personality that is into pink uplets is my favorite harem anime. Number 6, Jin Toki vs. Utsuru. A true master versus student battle and the best conclusion for the whole of the Jintama series. Really loved it. Number 5. Kaguya and Shirogane's kiss. Finally, Miyuki had the guts to make his request to Kaguya and the hearts filled with pride finally got united. It was a lovely moment and I wish that the anime actually ended over here. Number 4. Naofumi's revenge against Malti as well as the king. It's just satisfying to see him get revenge on them after going through all the pain and suffering that he did because of them and not to mention he actually saved their lives but you know served his purpose I absolutely loved it number three Ayana Koji's monologue towards the end of season one you know the one in which is like everyone is a freaking toe it shows a lot about the human nature as well and that's exactly what he's portraying through his speech it's amazing and goes to show how unique of a protagonist Aina Koji really is, unlike some of his fans. What? Anyways, show Aina Koji's true nature, so yeah. Number 2, Rei Kiriyama's emotional outburst. 
I just really lo love this moment. How he cries and is angry with all those people who don't practice enough before a shogi match. It's truly why they're bad at it, but still have the audacity to be rude to Ray just because uh, something has gone wrong in their personal life and uh, he has made it more miserable because of uh, winning against them. It's why he gets upset because he's guilty of defeating them and making their lives more miserable. But then again, shogi is the only thing that Ray is actually good at and the only thing that gives him a source of income and livelihood so no matter what he won't give up and he can give up but of course as a human he still feels empathetic towards those whom he won against and that's why it's a really good moment and I love it and number one Yep, this is my favorite moment of all time in anime. A truly simple and subtle moment shown in the most effective way possible. It shows how much Suki loves and cares about volleyball and teaches us or at least me about why it's okay to celebrate even small victories that may or may, may not have a significance in the long run because in the end a long run curve is always made up of short run curves and in the long run we're all dead what what's wrong with cracking some economics jokes over here huh i have a passion for it and it will be my job as well come on <laughs> 